Hello and welcome back to my podcast. This is the second episode in um, my Whip It Wednesdays. I hope y'all are having a good day. My boyfriend was making fun of me last time because I had a candle burning in the background. So this is for you. And the scent is uh, sweet spun sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, sorry. Yeah. She's on her way out. Put it right there. Okay. So, if you don't already know what this is, this is a kind of Whip It Wednesday. I do it every Wednesday where I go ahead and share what I've been working on when it comes to my knitting projects. This is something that I'm doing at the start of 2022, aka now, just so um, I keep myself responsible for um, my projects. So, first things first, if you saw the last episode, I'm working on two halibut sweaters and I recently frogged a, a silky satin cami thing, whatever. Um, that's still true. So here we are, here's my halibut sweater. Uh, I did get a little bit done with this. I went ahead and kind of, you know, finished, like I finished doing the body and I started doing the ribbing, which is gonna be three inches of ribbing. So I went ahead and tried it on, it kind of hit me here and I don't want it to be too long because originally I think it's made for like a longer torso. So it's supposed to be like eight inches from here and then another three inches. But I just went ahead and did, um, I put it on, it came like right to, right above my belly button. So I'm going ahead and doing that three inches of ribbing towards the end. I really want to get to the sleeves. Oh, I really want it, sorry. I really want to get to the sleeves very soon. Uh, just a refresher. The color is Auburn by Sweet Georgia Yarns in the DK, the Superwash. And then the pink is a really cute color called Dragon Fruit. It's a pink with blue, purple, blurple flecks in it. I love, I love blurple. With blurple flecks in it, all inside of it. Um, so you get to see it once in a while. I guess if you're really up close, when you're far away, you really can't see it. When you're up close, don't make a fool out of me. When you're up close, um, it's easier to see. So once again, this is, I think, by Caitlin Hunter of Boyland Knits, and it's my first sweater and first piece of color work. So far, going really well. Very excited about it. I've got two balls of yarn left. No, that's not true. No, that's not true. That's not true. I have like three balls of yarn left. I still got to do the sleeves, y'all. So that's my first one. Like I said, almost done working on the ribbing. Um, don't mind my little bags. Uh, this is the one for my boyfriend. I have not worked on it since the last time we've talked. Um, if you do remember, this is the same sweater as this halibut sweater I'm making for myself, but I'm using um, Noro Akari's color number 13. I have it written down somewhere. Okay, the color is Hirosaki, cool. And I haven't touched it since the last time. So I hope, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put that down and I will start working on this. It's the color work, man. As soon as you get over doing color work, you like really don't even wanna do it anymore. I'm gonna work on it. All right, so new projects. Y'all are gonna hate me because I hate me because I said I wouldn't work on it and I definitely did. I said I wasn't gonna pick up anything until I finished these two and guess what? I didn't do that. Why? Because I'm a liar and that's okay because everybody lies. And if you say you don't, you're a liar. So here is this. Isn't she gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls? 
love to lie and say they're only going to work on so many projects when they're actually going to do whatever they whatever they want. That's me. So <clears throat> this is the sorry, it's all tangled. This is the Love Magic. Yes, Love Magic sweater, formerly known as the Love Witch sweater. Love Magic sweater, formerly known as the Love Witch sweater. Yes, I did say that correctly. This is by Disco Stitch. I've had this pattern for over a year. I've had it since she came out with it. And then I never worked on it. So doing the halibut sweater and getting over my fear pushed me to do this sweater. Super excited about it. I also was like, I'm gonna make it a fade because it's not already gonna be hard enough. I'm gonna make it a fade. So that's what I did. And so the top part, both of these yarns are from Spectrum, uh, Spectrum Fiber in the UK. Um, both of these are from her. She's a dyer, love her, does neons. Um, and this top one is Strawberry. It's from the neon, um, the neon yarn, you know, she does like a neon yarn that's like a secret yarn and then they send it out and then you get it. So this was from March. Very beautiful. I wish I still had it in, I think I do still have some of it in the balls and I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I think I'm gonna make a beret. Also, sorry about the setup. It's like different today. I don't wanna hear it. I don't, I don't care. I don't wanna hear it. I'm trying to stay accountable. Work with me. Okay, so. Beautiful, beautiful pink yarn. It's like a peachy pink. Love it. And then it's going to fade into. Oh, sorry. It's going to, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a really pretty magenta, like a purpley magenta color. It's really bright. And my light setup is not good. So, and then I have a super cute little from Vita Lifestyle. It's a little ice cream ah. so the color that it's fading into is a color that is a staple color and it was called Indian summer yikes so um, I bought like three balls of the latter and two balls of the former and I have this beautiful sweater that it's gonna fade. It's gonna start to fade on the sleeves and it's gonna match here. And I'm super excited about it. Obviously my new favorite project. Say goodbye to that halibut sweater, I guess. So there's that one. I can't remember how much the pattern was. The fact that I'm even doing the pattern now is crazy. And then my last project that I shouldn't be working on, but I am because I am what? A liar so my last project is something for March because like we said I was gonna do a sweater a month or a garment a month and this last one is ghost hunter by Park Williams, Park Williams. she does park knit I think and like I said it's called ghost hunter and it's like a really it's kind of like looks like a cover-up and it's made out of mohair, it's like a chemise, it's something you put on top of like a bralette or something like that. And the one that she has is this color. Um, mine's a little bit less neon and a little bit more like sunny. Super excited about this. And then the yarn that I used is Lion Head Knits. Little Lion Head Knits. I don't know if I'm getting that confused with Little Lion Man. I think it's Little Lion Head um, yarns or knits and the color is Capri and it's super pretty and I almost, I really want to buy another one of this but I'm not going to do that because I have way too much yarn, way too much yarn. So forecasted is Halibut should be done in January, February should be my love magic and then March will be my Ghost Whisper little chemise. Super excited. Like I said, garment a month project is looking good thus far. I just need to stop making more things. 
I'll keep that in mind. But I have to go because I have a lot of things to do today. And this, sorry if this is a mess. I just did this in one take. Hopefully y'all enjoy it and I will see y'all next week. Uh, thank you. Uh, bye.